Hi everybody, Cynthia with Swan Soap and Such, and today we're going to be making my baby bar shaving bar. No scent, no color, hot process, a little rough top, nice and white. This has amazing, amazing bubbles. It's great for shaving, sensitive skin. And on the end of the video, I added a lather test. So watch through the video and you will see all the cutting and the lather. And it's amazing. So come along. We'll make some soap. Hi everybody. Cynthia with Swan Soap and Such. And as you can see, we're going to be making hot process soap today. I'm going to be making my baby bar or shaving bar because it's for sensitive skin and it has lots and lots and lots and lots of bubbles. So, I am using olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil, and shea butter. And my castor oil is over 17%. There, that's better. Okay, so... I have all my oils already heated up in the crock pot. I'm going to be making two batches with the other crock pot over there. And we'll get our temperature on our oils, see what we've got here. Let's see. Not too hot. I have my crock pot on low. So we're at 125, which is very nice. I like to do it low and slow. <clears throat> and I have my lye here, which is yellow because I have organic sugar in here. And I am going to use some sodium lactate. So, we'll get that ready. Now, the amount of oils I have are 87 ounces. So, I'll pour some of this sodium lactate in my cup here. And we'll get my measuring, and we're going to do, and that's 5.45 pounds. So I'm going to do 5 teaspoons of sodium lactate. Two and a half. Three, four, five, let's do a half, and a half. And then we'll put the rest back in there. Put my cup in the trash. Put this away and we'll stir this up. Stir this up. Alright. And we'll add it to our pot. down the side here and we'll get our stick blender it has no scent no color it's pretty much the most simple soap you can make but it's absolutely an amazing bar so we'll stir this up we'll have to do a a lather test once this is ready tomorrow.
want to show you where we're at. It's been about 10 minutes. I did turn it up to high because this crock pot seems to be doing it slowly. I have a second crock pot over there and it I started after this and it's already almost already cooked so I turned this one up. Apparently it's not as hot as this other one for some reason and I have the other one on low so I'll bring you back when this cooks all the way over and we'll do some pH testing. Okay, thanks. Okay, we are back. It's been about, I don't know, 25 minutes and it's almost cooked. Um, there's a little bit of the solid mash down here so we're going to go and wait for that to finish cooking and then we'll be back, we'll stir it and we'll do a pH test. Okay, I brought you back. I think we're all done, but let's give it a mix and see where we're at. No, we still have some solid soap down there, so this crock pot is just a lot slower than the other one. So we're not done yet. It seems to be turning into mashed potatoes, but the bottom underneath is still got some solid parts there, and I can feel it. So we're going to let this cook some more, and we'll bring you back. Okay, it's been another three or four minutes, so I thought we would check it again and see where we're at and see if I can... See if we're, oh yeah, no solidified stuff in there now. This is all cooked. And we have mashed potatoes, as you can see. So we're going to test the pH on this. So let me get a clean piece of paper towel. And we'll put a little bit on here. Put the lid back on this. Okay, we'll move this out of the way. I've got my phenol phthalene solution. Let's see if it'll focus. This camera is not that great for focusing. Anyway, that's phenol phthalene, and we have our soap here, and you can see there's slight pink in there, which means it's not quite done, but almost done, so we will wait, and we'll throw this piece out, and we'll let it cook some more. I'm going to turn off the pot, the crock pot here. And we're going to let it sit, and we'll bring you back, and we'll do another test, and then we'll put in the mold.
Hi everybody, we're here to cut the baby bar. This came out beautiful, lovely hot process. We'll get this cut and we'll put some music to it because they're all the same. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Looks like it. And they came out so marvelous. And they're all going to be the same. See how much suds we can get from this little piece here that a sliver I cut from the edge. We'll give it a little fold. This is now the fresh soap. We'll get it wet. I know these are my gloved hands, but hey. Oh, maybe I should take my gloves off, but I have the ouchie on my hand, but well. Okay, ready? Let's see what kind of bubbles we can get. This fresh soap. Look at that. Woohoo! I dropped it. It just is lots of bubbles. Lots and lots of bubbles. Lots of bubbles, y'all. So. Lots of water and lots of bubbles. I mean, we could go on and on and on and on. The more water you get, you know, bigger bubbles with more water. So yeah, you can get more. Yes. Okay, little baby bar. Lots of bubbles. Enjoy. See you next time.